He hails from Denmark but has worked and lived in Germany, Monaco, the UK and USA and now maybe he will add India to that list. Henrik Fisker is one of the world's most celebrated automobile designers who also had his own name brand cars in production until recently. He is in India to examine possible business opportunities and he spoke exclusively to CNB. Henrik Fisker, absolute pleasure to have you on the show. Great and to be here. Thank you for joining us today. Thanks for your time as well. It's great to have you here in India too. Um, first things first, I, I want to start by, you know, our, our viewers of course will want to know this as well. Uh, you know, what brings you to India? You have a nice Indian connection which <laughs> none of us knew of. Well, my wife is from India, from actually from New Delhi. Uh, so we like to come every year. Normally we like to come around Diwali, but uh, this year we, we decided uh, to come a little later. And uh, I also love to, uh, to come to India because I love Indian food. Uh, and I always find it interesting to kind of uh, look at the Indian car market specifically because first of all there's some models you, you almost don't see anywhere else. Uh, let's take a look at these two cars. I mean, absolutely. I don't want you to necessarily critique them <laughs> from a design point of view, but what is it about you that, uh, what, what is it about these cars that gets you? I mean, is there a specific element or a size or what? Yeah, what I, I, I think with this car, um, I think Ford has done an amazing job because it's very hard to design a small compact car and an and SUV and also combine true sportiness with it. And I really think they've done that with this car. The proportions is very sporty. If you start with the front end, you know, they, they have really managed to create quite a aggressive, sporty grill. Uh, the headlamps look slightly angry. Uh, so you get that good look that, that you want people to have in the rearview mirror. Please move out so I can get forward. Yeah. So it really uh, says enough. that. But they have also done something which is quite uh, unique in this type of segment. They have a lot of plan view in the car which kind of makes the car look very compact and sporty. Mm. And uh, they have a lot of sculpture in the car, like this, this area here. So they have sort of combined some of this, the features that we tend to see on, on uh, sedans and sports cars with a strong plan views, sculpture around the hood area. So they have combined that into to this SUV, which for me makes it look extremely modern and truly sporty because SUV of course stands for sport utility vehicle yeah. and many of them aren't really that sporty but but this car really is well they obviously took a complete different direction in this this is, has more almost to me a little bit of a retro feel of the yeah. sort of original Land Rovers uh, Toyota Land Cruisers so they have obviously gone for a little more of the traditional SUV look and with this of course you get the more massive feel um, and you get the, the traditional, almost safari look that you really are going out in, in the wild with this vehicle. Uh, of course, you have, uh, because of the more squarish look, you have slightly more interior space. Mm. At least uh, you're able to get three rows in. Although, what surprised me was that on the rear seat is actually more comfortable in the smaller EcoSport than in this car, because of course they're trying to add three seats yeah. on it. Yeah. Uh, so. I think it's really two different ways of interpreting what an SUV is and I guess it really depends on, you know, first of all, what your personal preference is in terms of do you like more the big sort of uh, traditional SUV look or do you want more Something of the more sporty, yeah. sleek, aerodynamic look and that's really up to the consumer what they like better.